today we're going to be talking about systems of linear inequalities. Our objective is that we will be able to graph systems of linear inequalities and determine the solutions. So step one, we're going to graph each inequality on the same plane. And step two, the overlap of the shaded areas are your solutions. So I'm going to start by graphing this first one. I'm going to do it in blue. So I'm going to start out at the y-intercept of positive 2. And then I'm going to go up 1 over 2. Since it is just a less than sign, I'm going to use a dotted line to connect my dots. Put arrows on the end. So any time you see less than or greater than, you're going to use a dotted line or a dashed line. Since what we want where the y's are less, the y's get less as we go down the graph. So I'm going to shade below my line. So less than means shade. My second line, I'm going to start at the y-intercept of positive 5, and I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Since it has the or equal to line underneath, like that, or if it was less than, for those we use a solid line. Here we want greater than, so we're going to shade above the line. So it's 3, 2, a solution. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Right there. Is that a solution? Yes, because it's in both colors. Is 1, negative 3 a solution? 1, negative 3. No, it's only in one color. So let's look at another example. Again, I'm going to start at my y-intercept, so negative 5. And then I'm going to go up 3 over 1. Since it's just greater than, I'm going to do a dotted line which when you're doing it on paper, we're going to use a ruler. I just don't have a dotted line ruler on the computer. And since y is greater, we're going to go up above our line. For my second line, I'm going to start at positive 1. Then I'm going to go up 2 over 3. Since it's got the or equal to line, I'm going to use a solid line to connect my dots.
And since it's less than, I'm going to go below the line. All right, so now let's check. Is 1, negative 2 a solution? 1, negative 2. It touches both the blue and the pink. However, it is not a solution because it's on a dotted line. Is negative three, negative one a solution? Yes, because it's on a solid line that touches both colors. So let's say we are looking at the point, what is this, 6, 6, 5, up here. That is not a solution because even though it's on a solid line, it's not touching both colors. So we got to be careful about the solid lines. If it's on a dotted line, it's automatically not a solution. If it's a solid line, you have to make sure it touches both colors. That's all for today. Fill in your summary, and I'll see you in class.